Welcome to the Iputronic Online Academy. This video series will cover various topics in easy to follow along videos. Additional assistance can be provided through the worldwide Iputronic locations. Iputronic is currently made up of five different business units. This video will focus on the measure and motion products. In today's video, we will take a look at the capabilities of the access points in our data loggers. First off, we'll look at the data loggers that have access points installed. We'll go over the connections and the settings inside of IPMotion RT. We will go over the restrictions and capabilities that the data loggers have when using the Wi-Fi access point. As the mobile display is one of the main features, we will take a closer look at how to configure it in various environments. Not all data loggers in the IPtronic lineup come with an access point built in. The IPE Log 2, the MLog V3 when combined with a COM gate, and the Ethos have a Wi-Fi access point built in by default. It is possible to add third-party access points to a data logger like the Micros SL. The logger that we will use for this specific demonstration is going to be the IPE Log 2. We will also attach an mThermo2 module and an RTSP-enabled IP camera. When using Wi-Fi, there are three different types of connections to the data logger. The first option is connecting and using IPMotion RT as if the logger was connected with a cable. The second option is to run the mobile edition in whatever browser you're using. The third option is to run the mobile edition edition on an iOS or Android device and connect to the data logger that way. Let's look at these connections in a little more detail. To ensure that not multiple people are working on the same logger at the same time, there is a hierarchy of the connections. RTUI is the main software that's used to configure the data logger. It can also display live signals and offload data files to the PC from the data logger. To utilize RTUI, you have to be connected either directly with a communication cable or point-to-point -point on Wi-Fi. To ensure that multiple people aren't making changes to the same data logger at the same time, there is a priority of connections. The cable always takes priority over a Wi-Fi connection. As soon as one PC is connected point-to-point -point using RTUI, the logger will reject any further Wi-Fi connection requests. The Mobile Edition app, whether it is in a browser window or with an iOS or Android device, cannot make changes to the data logger's configuration, so multiple devices are allowed to be connected at the same time. On the IPE log, the access point feature is enabled by default. The SSID is also the password to connect to the data logger. If you would like to change the password, select the logger in the tree and find the access point tab. Enter at least eight characters to create a new password. When a Wi-Fi connection is established and you are using RTUI, you can make all the changes that you could make if you were connected with a cable. This also includes applying changes back to the modules or to any other attached devices. Data that has previously been recorded to the data logger can also be downloaded through the Wi-Fi connection. Select the data logger in the tree, select import, and select measurement files. Specify a folder and save the previously recorded data to your PC's hard drive. When using RTUI, you can also take advantage of all the features inside of the IPMotion View tab. To learn more about the View tab and the options you have to display live data, please check out some of the other videos linked here. You can also use the Mobile Display tab to set up the mobile display that everybody sees when they are connected to the data logger. The mobile display layout is saved to the data logger and will apply to anyone who connects using the Mobile Edition. It does not matter whether the Mobile Edition is connected on Wi-Fi or through the cellular modem. If you want to use the browser-based Mobile Edition, simply enter the IP address of the data logger when you are connected on Wi-Fi. If you enable the load layout automatically from the data logger option, you will see the exact layout that you configured in the mobile display settings. If the user decides to make changes using the Mobile Edition Application Layout Editor, those changes will be saved locally. Anybody who connects the data logger with a new connection will go back to the default configuration for the mobile display that was previously configured in IPMotion RTUI. The light and dark mode settings will also only apply to the individual connection. To connect with your phone or tablet, go to the Wi-Fi settings and find the logger. Connect using the SSID and the password that you've previously set. As soon as you open the IPMotion Mobile Edition app, you will see the view screen that was previously configured. Once again, any changes made will only be to the local device. If you are connected point-to-point -point with a smartphone or a tablet running the IPMotion Mobile Edition app, you can also activate audio notes. 
Go to the app settings and enable the feature. A little microphone will now be visible in the view screen. If anything happens during the test that requires further information, the operator can now add an audio note to the measurement file. To demonstrate how multiple connections to the same data logger work on Wi-Fi, we set up a little demonstration at our office. The data logger was set up so it would stay in one office. We then connected five different devices from different brands to the data logger. This included one laptop PC that was connected on RTUI, and phones and tablets running either iOS or Android operating systems. As you can see, they are all showing the same image and the same setup that was previously configured with the mobile display option. If we activate the trigger button, you can see that all devices respond simultaneously. We hope that this tutorial has been helpful. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to contact your local Epitronic office.